Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Tarot and Ascension journey today. What does your person want you to know and what action steps are they taking? And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's going on with them today? Wow. So two cards flew out, two cards sticking out. I still feel there's more cards, though. But I feel those first two cards are very powerful. Yeah, that's just jumped out as well. I still feel there's more cards. That one's just jumped out there. Those two are sticking out. I feel one more shuffle. Yeah, there we go. So look how these cards are flying out. How powerful. Very, very powerful. So the first message is... You compliment my life. Isn't that beautiful? They want you to know that you enhance their life. You make their life better. You compliment them in every single way because you're beautiful and strong and unique. You're an inspiration. You're divine. You compliment their life. You don't drag them down. You lift them up. You compliment them. That's how they feel about you. And they want to give you compliments in your life. They want to say to you, hey, baby, I love you. You're so beautiful to me. I want to give everything to you. They want to give you compliments. They don't want to say things that hurt you or drag you down. They want to say things that lift you up and boost you. Because they also want to compliment your life. They want you to feel that they enhance your life. That you want. They want you to feel that way. And a lot of them don't feel that way right now. They feel like they've dragged you down and got in the way and messed things up. So they've really got to work on loving themselves more to remember their own value and their own worth to be able to come to you and compliment your life. So they are saying to you, you, you lift me up, you make my life better, you compliment my life, thank you. Thank you for making my life a better place to be. And they want to give to you. That's what they dream about, giving to you, giving things back to you. I feel that the next time they see you, or the next time you communicate, they're going to give you a compliment. Because that's going to be their way of showing you that you matter to them. And that they are grateful for you. I have a plan for us, absolutely. Page of Pentacles, soul growth. So you're being reminded this about soul growth. I have a plan for us, I'm working it out. Because you compliment my life. I don't want to be without you anymore. Why? Because it's not an option anymore. It's not an option for me. I have a plan to be with you and I have a plan for us and I'm working it out. I know now that you're a big lesson to me and that you've taught me to be a stronger person and to fight for what I want and who I am because you compliment my life and I want to hold your hands and show you off down the street and walk with you and show everyone that we are together and I have a plan for us to do that. So they are definitely working out what to do. You have a hold on me. Wow. Queen of Wands is sexy and charismatic and beautiful and strong and desired this is you this is your intimate appeal to them you know the way that you are you and it turns them on body mind heart and soul that you're everything they've ever wanted and everything they've ever desired and that is why you have a hold on them that's why they love you and they can't deny that to themselves they want to kiss you they want to taste you they want to devour you because you have a hold on them. So remember your truth. Remember who you are. This is about how loyal they are to you as well. They want you to know they're loyal to you because of your heart. You have a hold on me. That's why I have a plan for us. You compliment my life. You have this hold on me because you are amazing. You're the most sexy, desirable person I've ever met. And I can't wait to explore this side. I can't wait to be with you. And it's really beautiful because the flame is also the twin flame love. The flame that gets stronger and brighter no matter how much time passes. Wanting to explore you, taste you, be with you, the desire they have for you, it never goes away. And this is also a message page of ones about good news and magic ahead. This is good news. This is a message of good news as we get ready for November. I'm ready. Yeah, look at this. I'm ready for the next chapter. If you're seeing the number 21, if you're seeing 2121 on the clock, or even 2112, this is a huge sign of stability coming into your world. They want to give you the world and they are preparing for this. I'm ready for the next chapter. I want a new experience with you. I want to start again. I want a new beginning. I want to make it work. I'm ready for a new chapter. 
and they are preparing for this right now. Some of them will be doing this in the new year because they'll think in their head, I'm just going to get Christmas out of the way and then I'm going to take hold of things. And obviously we should always make the decision and choose now, but they are still learning to do that, remember. But they do know they're ready for this next chapter. Yeah, they're saying, I just can't be with you right now because of the time of the year. Because a lot of them right now are thinking about Christmas time. They're thinking about Christmas time because they may have obligations, responsibilities, they could have kids, they could be in a situation where they're being told what to do. So they're saying, I just can't be with you right now, but don't worry because I have a plan for us. Don't worry because I'm ready for the next chapter with you. I'm going through changes. And 13 is saying, look is on your side. Don't go into the past way of thinking, thinking, oh, I've heard it all before. They said this last year or the year before that because we've never been in the year of the dragon before. And this dragon is blasting things out of the way. So just because they can't be with you right now in this moment does not mean it's not going to happen. It is, luck is on your side. But if you get stressed out and angry and frustrated, you're going to push your blessings away. I'm finding my place in the world. Again, navigation here. St. Christopher directing them, the angels showing them the way. Ace of Pentacles between December and April. This is when your changes are coming. This is when they intend to make things better, to start this new chapter. This is when they're going to put that plan into place, finding their place in the world. There could be some relocation during this timeline as well, some big changes, job changes. They're finally understanding where they belong, and that's with you. And they're facing their fears and darkness to do that. You know, the moon energy brings that up. We had the full moon. We're moving towards the new moon, then the full moon again. So there's lots of energy shifting as we move through the next few cycles of the moon because they are super moons and things are changing. We've got enjoying the peace. And they're saying that, enjoying the peace, the phase. So enjoy this phase, especially over the next three months, because you're going to be connecting in the 5D very strongly. You're going to enjoy this new phase that begins and they're saying enjoy the peace. So find peace in this, knowingness that you're going to be together, that they have a plan. You're going to be holding hands. This is definitely them dreaming about you and fantasizing about the next steps. I feel they definitely want to experience other places with you, like travel and going and doing new things, things they've never done. They're looking forward to these things. So try and enjoy this next phase of your life. You know, enjoy the transition. It's like imagine at Christmas time, you know, we get so excited for Christmas time that we can't wait for Christmas Day. But it needs to be savoured because on Christmas Day, it's all over and done with. You know, my favourite day of the year is of, of Christmas time. My favourite day of the year is actually Halloween, which I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. But, you know, the um, my favourite day of around Christmas is the 23rd because it's Christmas Eve's Eve. So it's just like, getting. it's a very exciting day, you know, and there's all the anticipation of what's to come. Whereas... On Christmas Day, it's all over. Christmas Eve, it's nearly over. I just love Christmas Eve's Eve. So it's about enjoying the phase, not rushing things. Being in the moment, enjoying the day exactly as it is today, wherever you are today. Enjoy this phase. Find peace in it. Find peace in the process of what you're going through right now, what you're achieving right now, because you are going to be together. This is the promise of union, the Ten of Cups here. It's always been you. It's always been you. It doesn't matter what relationships they've been in. If they've got married or they've had a relationship with someone else. This is the lie to you that's you. I'm seeing this as a karmic relationship that it was something that happened. Think about the reason that came through yesterday. You know, they said, I'm in a situation. I need to get out of that situation. So, for example, if they got married to someone else, you're the light that never goes away. You're the light. They're making me pick up this pen. It feels like they're going to sign divorce papers. But they show me this light. This is you no matter what. Even if they were, you know, acting happy when they got married or even if there was a honeymoon period there or whatever it is, you're the light that never goes away. You're the elephant in the room. It never goes away. It's always been you. It's always been you. And yes, I am seeing this as you and them getting married and coming together in the light, which means out in the open in front of your friends, family. It's not going to be a hidden love anymore or forbidden love because it's always been you and they know that. But I am definitely seeing this as realizations of that you're the one no matter what's going on. You'll always end up where you're meant to be. So remember, if they've gone their own way for a while, whether it's in a relationship or in a marriage or whatever they did, you'll always come back together. 
I need to go my own way for a while for healing purposes. So what they're really saying here is I'm getting this as a past energy where they needed to go their own way for a while. Maybe they got married. Maybe they got in a relationship. Maybe they got involved in some bad things or, you know, they went down some dark roads. But it's always been you no matter what. And they've realized that they've been facing their fears, their darkness. They've been understanding that their future is and always will be with you. And they have been shown that through the moon. So they're starting to find their place in the world, going through these changes. That's why they can't be with you right now, because they're preparing for the next chapter. So don't worry if they seem to have gone their own way for a while. It's for growth purposes. They can't wait to explore this connection with you because they've, you have a hold on them. And they have a plan because you complement their life. So try and enjoy this phase of the journey. The angels are always saying to you, enjoy the journey because the best is yet to come. And it really is. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.